So this video is a next part from my 10 gigabit setup videos and we were curious if adding more drives will increase the performance on the NAS. So particularly in this video I'm going to show you how to add drives and, uh, and see how long it's going to take to actually complete a rebuild. So what I'm doing is removing a drive from surveillance and putting into a NAS. So just a little tip about compatibility, what drives you can use on your UNAS, Unify Ubiquiti NAS. So the drives they do recommend is 3.5 inch, 2.5 inch drives, or for Dream Router, Dream Ball, obviously micro SD card. But regarding NAS, it's uh, either 3.5 inch or 2.5. Obviously they recommend their own Uni5 hard drives, which is actually WDHGST drives, 8 terabyte or 16 terabyte. But otherwise, if you go for other drives, it needs to be at least one terabyte or bigger, and it need to be CMR drive. If you are curious what CMR drives are, you can go to the list we have created, and you will see if your drive is CMR drive or not on this list. Otherwise, the same applies to 2.5 inch drives. They need to be at least one terabyte in size. It need to be CMR type of drive. And for some reason, they also mention spinning speeds. But I think this is not important. But do pay attention if it's CMR drive. And also pay attention on the size of the drive. If you have, if you have existing drives in your NAS, it needs to match the size of existing drives or it needs to be bigger. So there are certain drives that are marked as incompatible simply because they do not fit in the tray because they are too big. Some of them do not have bottom screws to be screwed into the tray and some of them do not have screws and they are too big. And obviously if it's an SMR drive it will cause issues with bigger drives like RAID 5, RAID 6. It's uh, good for mirror, like RAID 1, or no RAID, these SMR drives, but uh, for RAID 5, RAID 6, you need CMR drives. Regarding incompatible 2.5 inch drives, uh, those are iron wall drives, and they do not meet the power requirements. Because some drives, instead of having 5 volts, require 12 volt supply, which a UNAS doesn't um, provide. So now we can see that in Protect uh, Surveillance System, there is no drive detected. Now when we introduce this new drive, it allows us to format the drive before we use it. Okay, now we can open NAS uh, Admin Panel. And uh, since we added a drive uh, from the Surveillance Station, we can see it shows existing data detected. Because there is some surveillance footage, we'll need to format this drive so we can use it. At this point I'm very curious about how long it's going to take to format and rebuild the RAID because Synology in their latest DSM have introduced a smart RAID rebuild process where it ignores the empty space on the drive instead of copying all the zeros from one drive to another and uh, I can see based on uh, the time remaining to rebuild this RAID, which says more than a day. When these drives are empty, that's a proof that it doesn't have a smart rebuild. So since it says one hour, 22 minutes to rebuild using this one drive, out of curiosity, what will happen if I add another drive before the rebuild is finished? Do I have any 8TB drive to add? That's a question. I have no 8TB drive, but I do have 14TB drive. Let's see what happens if I add those. Let's see what happens. And as you can see, if I go through drives 1 to 5, they all have status drive expanding. But if I click on drive 6 and 7, there is nothing going on with these drives, so I believe first drive will finish the rebuild and then the second drive can be introduced to a RAID. So 
Altogether, this could take three days to complete. So if you were wondering how long it takes to expand the storage on your UNAS, it takes a long time. Hey, this is a quick update for those that are curious about how RAID rebuild will affect the overall performance, how it's going to affect the speed of uh, file uploads and downloads. I'll show you how. I wish they had the smart rebuild feature built in, so it wouldn't take a day or two days to introduce a new. So yeah, you can see that speeds are effective drastically. We used to see 300 on average, 400 and even 500 megabytes a second in some instances. But now it has dropped down to 20 to 30 megabytes a second. I wish they had a feature like Unibus Synology does where during the rebuild you can have a tick saying do not slow down my system as much. So after a day and a half we came back to the admin panel to see how the rebuild is going on and is it about finish and it did finish rebuilding the RAID uh, with this new drive introduced in the Bay 5 and as you saw before I added also two 14 terabyte drives in the Bay 6 and Bay 7 originally they were treated as hot spares while the rebuild was still uh, happening for the Bay 5 now once the Bay 5 is done now these two additional drives added are being um, introduced into the RAID and this time they're introduced at the same time rather than one at a time and now it says we need to wait additional 16 hours for these drives to be uh, formatted and um, prepared for the RAID so after that is done we can make this new video where we can actually compare if the speed with seven drives will be faster than with four drives and obviously there's a good indication the speed's supposed to be better with more drives. So basically what we have learned in this video, that it is possible to add drives to your existing RAID on your UNAS, but only one drive at a time can be introduced and it needs to be at the same capacity as original drives in there. So if those are eight terabyte drives in there, you need to put at least eight terabyte drive in there or bigger obviously if you put a bigger drive it will be seen as big as the smallest drive in the RAID so 16 would look like 8 but uh, it's possible as long as it's a SATA drive you can put it in there and the RAID will be rebuilt and if you stay tuned on the next video I'm going to show you if adding two drives extra or if adding any extra drives to your existing RAID will improve those 10 gigabit speeds or not then on future videos, maybe I'll destroy the RAID and create uh, no RAID, JBOD or RAID 10. So we can compare, is there any uh, speed boost, speed difference based on the RAID you have chosen? Is that going to improve your 10 gigabit speeds? So basically come back in a few days while this rebuild is done and then we can continue where we left off.